In this video, I'm going to show how I made the Dancing Arrows setup that was featured in my previous video. If you haven't seen this mind-bending optical illusion yet, click here to check it out. My goal with this video is to give you more details of how I designed and built these setups. I've also released all the SDL files needed to build any of these, as well as a list of parts you'll need. Links to all this are in the video description. Let's start by talking about how I moved the arrows around. To move the arrows around, I used cheap RC servo motors. In this case, I used the Fitech FS90. The only trick needed was that I had to use the servo controller software to widen the usable range from 120 degrees to around 180 degrees so that I could fully flip the arrows back and forth. I knew that I wanted to be able to swap different arrows in and out very quickly, as well as move them between different array types. So I designed a magnetic interface that would allow this. A coupler with a magnet bonded into it mounts onto the motor. Then each arrow has a post with a mating magnet. And voila, quick and easy swapping of arrows. Here's a single motor and arrow in action. Now let's take a look at the fixtures used to hold the arrays of motors and arrows. Fixtures were designed in SOLIDWORKS and are incredibly simple. The servos bolt on from the bottom to keep the display surface smooth and clean. I use heat set inserts to screw the servos into the top plate. The plate itself also serves to hide the wiring coming from the servos. I designed a number of different arrays. Did I get carried away? After everything was designed, then I started printing it out. After the fixtures were assembled, the wiring and electronics needed to be hooked up. I'm using a Polulu Maestro servo motor driver, which has worked great for controlling multiple servos. The servo driver has a free software tool which allows you to control all these servos and write simple scripts like what you saw in the previous video. I've put links to all the SDL and purchase parts used in this video description if you want to build any of these for yourself. If you do build one, please share pictures or video with me on Twitter or Instagram. That's how I made these arrows dance. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button as I have lots more exciting content planned. If you want to get an exclusive look at my upcoming projects and encourage me to keep designing crazy setups like this one, please take a look at my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.